Okay, for those people that have been watching the uh, the stuff on Facebook where I've been building this engine stand, I've completed most of the work and I just started. I actually started it up a couple of days back because I needed to run the cam in. And uh, like all first time starts, generally there's always a few issues, and the issues probably with me were uh, I put in a good water pump, or I thought was a good water pump, except uh, of course, you know, as Murphy's Law would have it, the water pump leaked. So then I had to build another water pump and I got that off and also had a leak in the top hose or it's not really a hose so much as a as a metal um metal tube and I can there's a pinhole there too you can just see some tap, tape wrapped around it. The engines together looks good doesn't sound too bad I've just given it a not a quick tune but I've just had to muck around with the idling screws because there's two uh there's two <coughs> two carburetors and of course I've got to get both of them in a rough balance so there's the fuel tank there or it's just a bottle really there's the other side and we'll crank it up in a second here we go all right so here goes we'll crank it up switches there's a switch here put that down to on green lights on gauges shows voltage well here we go it's up to sort of up to temperature it's a bit of a bit of a glare there 12 volts the vacuum gauge is not connected properly, but it's not running too badly. Here we go. Like I said, it's not not being tuned. And uh they're the Harley mufflers. Quite pleased with the outcome. You never know what's going to happen when you muck around with a motor this much. Hopefully things work out, and uh, seemingly they have. Throttles back here, bit of wire. Slightly lean. Probably got the wrong needles in it. Idling, idling nicely, I think, just for a, a very rough, very rough tune. I haven't even had the timing light on it. They're working nicely. So there you go. I really can't get much further back than this as I'm standing up against my other cars. So up at the back here, the stepper motor for LPG, which I'll connect. We'll sort out, I'll sort out the petrol first, and then we'll worry about the LPG system. There's also a throttle position sensor here. So here we go, I'll just switch it off and... Uh, here we go, that's it. It's not too bad, I'm quite pleased with that. It's a good outcome. Uh, a bit of tuning now, put a timing light on it and uh, <laughs> try and get both uh, carburetors balanced. Probably with a bit of wire. I want to try and do it with the filters on rather than with the back with a gauge. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you found that sort of seemingly entertaining.